Bobby Axelrod is a character played by Damian Lewis in the Showtime series Billions. He is notorious for his ruthless streak and putting results of his hedge fund Axe Capital above all else. This leads us to the following question. Is Axe's character based on anyone in particular? Well, kind of. It is rumoured that the show's creators based Axe's character on Steve Cohen, who founded the hedge fund Sack Capital in 1992. It is named as Sack Capital after Steve's initials. His full name is Stephen A. Cohen. Get it? Sack? Just kidding. Sack has four letters. So, in terms of having three letters, pretty much similar to Axe Capital. In the early seasons of Billions, Axe was locked in a ferocious battle with US Attorney General of the Southern District, Chuck Rhodes, played by Paul Giamatti. This is pretty similar to Cohen. In 2012, the SEC filed charges against SAC for insider trading. One former manager, Matthew Mortoma, was sentenced to nine years in prison, and several others were charged for lesser offenses. This is similar to Billions, as like Mortimer, Bill, Dollar Bill Stearns, played by Kelly O'Coin, is arrested for insider trading. You, get out. Yeah, you. All right, lawyer. Lawyer. Lawyer! Sir, we have a warrant for your arrest. You can get a lawyer, lawyer. you're holding the cell. Lawyer. William Stern, you are under arrest for lawyer. insider trading and securities lawyer. fraud. You have lawyer. the right to remain silent. You might want to exercise that Come on, right. let's go. Let's go. However, unlike Mortimer, who is serving a prison sentence in real life, Bill walks free in the show. Spoiler alert. Steve Cohen, for his part, was never charged with any criminal wrongdoing, and a civil suit for failing to supervise Aaron's employees was eventually dropped in 2013. The corporate entity, however, Sack Capital, ultimately pled guilty to insider trading. As part of that settlement, the firm was banned from managing outside investor capital and fined $1.8 billion. Cohen paid the fine out of his own pocket in 2014. However, with a net worth of $13.6 billion, Cohen has pretty deep pockets. Because of this, in 2014, SAC transformed into a family office called Point72 Asset Management, which is named because of the address of SAC Capital's main offices, which is 72 Cummins Point Road. SAC Capital generated average annualized returns of 25%. Like I've said before, there are only two ways to beat the stock market. Number one, work at Renaissance Technologies, and to do so you need to be a literal genius and have an IQ closer to 200 than 100. Number two, undertake insider trading, but you'd like to get caught. However, if you have an army of world-class lawyers, you might just walk away with a $1.8 billion fine. For more compounded valuable content, like and subscribe.